I was in a park when I was 12. I was with my friends, 11, but my friends were playing basketball. And somebody told us, we, bet, they, we better not be there when they get back. And they came back to the park and started shooting. And they shot my friend in his neck and in his back. And I took my shirt off and put it over his neck, tried to help him stay there, like tried to help him stay with me. And he just kept saying, like, I'm tired. Like, let me go to sleep. I'm tired, let me go to sleep. I was having nightmares about it, and I kept dreaming about it, like, and telling myself it was my fault because I didn't want to leave the park. I started popping Xanax and stuff because I didn't like going outside like that, but I wasn't going to hide in the house my whole life, so it just suppressed everything. It was just like, you can't touch me. You can't. I felt like I had superpowers. From when I was 13 years old, after that, like, I was just in and out of jail, in and out of jail, and I was getting kicked out of high schools. One time I came home, 3 o'clock in the morning, and... My mom was trying to ask me like where I was and stuff like that, and I couldn't get no words out my mouth. Like I was trying to talk, but I couldn't say nothing. And when I just woke up, she was at the bottom of my bed and she was crying. She said she didn't think I was gonna wake up. And that's when I'm like, I gotta stop taking them. I didn't believe I could change my life. It was just my mom believing the whole time. In August, I'll be a year clean. When I first got into the recovery high school, it was just everybody cared. I didn't never have to worry about fighting none of the males in there because they just wanted to be your friend like so bad. It's just like, it's boring, but it's like I care about more stuff and I got like more ideas. Like, like I be thinking about what I want to go to school for. Like, I'm worrying about scholarships. 